here's a few updates. For starters, in one of my last few videos, you got to hear that uncomfortable phone call about my great grandma's health issues. Well, I managed to see her, and she doesn't look too good, but I got to see her nonetheless. And my mom's currently taking care of her at the moment. I didn't like how dramatic it was played out, but it certainly was dramatic news, and I wish for the best for her. I know she's suffering right now, but the environment she's in at the moment is quite pleasant. At least we're helping it be as pleasant as possible. Certainly, the decorum of that hospital is nice, and she's with good company. People that have been with her for a while. I don't know how many decades it takes to really know someone, but it isn't people that she hates. That's an important factor. And one thing I just like is the fact that a lot of the hospital workers, left side of a bell curve, genetic untouchables, they were having way too much loud small talk right outside her door. And she was coughing and heaving hard because, again, her white blood cell doesn't work. So all the germs inside her hospital environment is really hurting her from the inside. She's feeling pain in her swollen gut area. She's really become a bag of flesh and organs. But she's still thinking for us, even now. She's so concerned about me and how things are going for me in the holidays. She noticed I was tired. She gave me 20 bucks that she was planning on giving me for a while now. Same with my little bro. So yeah, she's a great person. and My prayers go out for her. Second of all is that I got Kingdom Hearts 1.5, which is an enjoyable game. I mean, I've so far I've played Kingdom Hearts Final Mix HD, HD remake. Graphically, it is beautiful. I remember the original PlayStation 2 game was visually impressive, yet there was such a strong tinge of darkness that isn't present now. I feel like the resolution really completes the game. I don't know about you, but I like PlayStation 2, I mean Kingdom Hearts 2's visual style a little more, full as dated, a little more timeless, but building up the resolution, I think retexturing everything has helped add some youth to the visual style of Kingdom Hearts. And this was one of my favorite Kingdom Hearts games. The other game is Remake Chain of Memories, which, again, I remember playing the Game Boy Advance game with my best friend all the time. It was me and my best friend's favorite series, and I really can't wait to get my hands on that one. But so far, one of the big differences I noticed was that there's an extra scene added with the last of shows. Crowd mode is way more difficult than expert mode, but because I'm smarter now, I can read out people's attack patterns in the game. Although I'm still kind of rusty because they changed the controls up slightly to make it more like Kingdom Hearts 2. And I haven't gotten used to that, especially now with a light PlayStation 3 controller. Another thing, besides the gaming, of course, is that the last political blog post of this year is going to be 
two days from now on a Friday, and it's going to connect Edenism, melons, and Jews and Jewish questions. I feel like I should focus more on Jewish question because jumping into the Jewish question was my most popular blog post of in terms of this actual blog, I'm pretty sure the stuff I put in TRS, if it's still there, I know the last post I did, because I didn't edit it properly, got a lot of heat. Um, really, I want to focus more on the Jewish question, because I feel like when I jumped into the Jewish question, I really jumped into it. I said that they are a victim group that needs to be worried about, and that at the same time, they're not this all-powerful group that we should be afraid of. That if you say their name in a negative fashion, you will be wiped off from the face of history. That it's a curse built within you that you don't fuck with them. That mentality is... A very silly mentality. It's a very modern mentality. The superstition kind of reminds me of a lot of these curses where you can't like curse a certain dictator because you will die from it. But that's just a weird parallel I'm drawing. But this one's gonna appease to those Koanic soul fans. It's gonna appease to maybe some Arianists. And again, I'm not trying to make this explicit into a pure racialist narrative, but that's kind of what I'm addicted to now. And I'm already getting sick of it because I've been utilizing every ad and venue I can without making it redundant. But the first political blog post for the first Friday of next year, 2014, there's going to be a blog post on why I'm not a reactionary or why I never used the reactionary label. I'll describe some of my viewpoints as being reactionary. And I'll assume, I'll describe the people I associate as being in the reactosphere. And I'm going to explain why I don't use that term, reactionary. It's going to be interesting. It's going to go a little Evola, but I think after that I'm going to try to bring everything back to... A regular direction. So these have been my updates. It's Christmas. I would make another Q&A video around this time. But. I didn't get a lot of questions for the Thanksgiving one. And people really did say that they were going to like. Test out Mr. Walker 7. And ask some perverted shit. But I just got a bunch of stupid questions. And a couple of good ones. So, that's the end of that for my Q&A career. I think I've had how many Q&As so far? Like, seven, six, five. It's good enough. Anyways, Mr. Wonka 7, and... Merry Christmas. I was going to try to f incorporate that into a suck my dick fashion, but I guess I can say suck my candy cane. Get under the mistletoe of my dick. Uh, make the head of my penis red like Rudolph. Okay, that probably doesn't make a lot of sense. Anyway, respect the king nonetheless.